So welcome to Techno Day at Life. And uh, today's episode, what we're going to be doing is installing a watchtower, which is a docker that watches other dockers to and then updates them automatically. It's actually very handy. And so today's video is nice and short and sweet. And so if you like it, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. Okay, so if you've never done this before, take a look at the dates of all your dockers and what they are. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, type watchtower, and we're gonna click on the VTech one, click start, and then click close. And we're gonna click on the VTech watchtower, we're gonna click info, and we're gonna scroll down to usage. We're going to go back over to our watchtower and we're going to click run image and not too much we have to do here we're going to name the container watchtower and restart policy always host and then we don't need to do anything down here we're going to go to extra arguments and we're going to go back to the vtech page and we're going to copy this variable all the way to the end of the sock Going to go back to our container and ex extra arguments and paste that there. And so what that does is give the container permission to access the all the Docker containers. And we're going to click save there. And so now you can see that is running. If you wait a few seconds, and I've already done this once, so I don't think anything's going to change. But it, if you wait a few seconds, then then you press refresh. And then you should see some of these changing. So that's it for today. And if you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, I'll leave some links down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.